cooking it down. Hey, we want to ask you right off the bat, what type of uh, fats do you cook in? Do you cook in animal fat? Do you cook in like lard and shortening? Do you cook in vegetable oils? What type of cooking do you do when it comes to saute, pan frying, and all those other deep, that deep dozen down southern dishes that I enjoy and other cultural dishes as well? So put into the chat what exactly is that you use to mm. do your cooking with. But before we get into all that, my name is Corey the Blind Guy. I'm his wife, Laquita Marie. Let's do the five minute story do time. Five minute story time to get you kicked off as we talk about avocado oil, olive oil, coconut oil. Are they healthier options? As we said, give you some information from Dr. Neil Barnard from the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. And we take you on this journey to discover what you can do to actually offset some of the issues that are caused when you consume too many fats from oils. All taking place in the best half hour of your day, right after this five minute story. All right, we are ready for the five minute story. Hey there, Tati, we see you there with no okra, y'all. I don't think there's any okra in this story. So if you're frying your okra though in avocado oil or sauteing it in olive oil or cooking it in coconut oil, I know Lash's journey is not using any oils. And David Hunt says, today is a good show. He's getting up for tomorrow's show because y'all know tomorrow <laughs> we raise the flag. This is for men's health. Uh oh, Trash Can Waves and G. Albert, they are ready for us to go. So let's do the five minute story time. Trash Can Wave says, coming in live. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. In the world of, in our human world, there are always heroes and villains. Ooh, Mighty Nugent. Mighty. That sounds oh, like a hero's Kanika name. Mighty Nugent's in the house. <laughs> yes. But in the world of the Nutriverse oh, okay, that Nutriverse. Laquita Marie has created, where you talk, where you learn what's good for optimal health so you can avoid those bad bodies with bad health, there are some cold blooded killers. Cold blooded? Well, you know, cold as in cold juice, because Juice and with Jay is dropping dimes on us. Thank you so much, Juice Thank and with Jay. Thank you, Juice and with Jay. Not cold blooded, not cold juices, but cold blooded killers. Cold like Germany? Animal fat. Oh. Vegetable oil. Ooh. Those are some of the most incredible villains in the world of food consumption. But there's not a bigger villain or cold-blooded killer than grandma. Grandma? Especially when the grandma is my grandma, Johnny Beatrice Dance. How you give her a whole government? She's, she's gone. I know, but you know she's, what I'm saying? She's That's the only way to heaven. <laughs> and, and then you're going to say your grandma was a cold-blooded what? Cold-blooded killer. In the kindest way. Oh. Whenever I would go spend summers with my grandmother, she would indulge in every Southern comfort food that she could imagine that her first grandchild that was ever born could enjoy. That was me. Homemade biscuits made with Crisco or, or Crisco vegetable lard or animal lard. She would keep bacon grease and bacon fat off on the stove mm. in a jar. And that's where the story begins. Not grandma, in the words of Gail and I. <laughs> One day, my cousin Javon and I were particularly rowdy and particularly mischievous. We had done everything we could to disrupt my grandmother's day. Mm -hmm. We went out and got all of her clean linens dirty off the clothesline as we were fighting over who was going to take off the sheets and who was going to take off the towels of the off the line and fold the laundry. We had made a mess of the car washing that we were supposed to have done because we sprayed the windows of the house that had to, that were now spotted up with water stains. But it got really crazy when we came in the house and there was a full on WWE SmackDown fight over whether we were gonna watch Lassie or the 18. You know what, Corey? Uh, <laughs> Gra <laughs> Grandma, let me guess, cause Gail and I is guessing it. Grandma was in the kitchen with animal lard, buttermilk, flour, and her fingers. Because that's good eating, yeah, according to uh, Gail it. Knight. That's how you make those drop biscuits. <laughs> now, after the Royal Rumble was was ended with the end of a fly swatter it wielded by my grandmother's hands, we were ordered to go in the kitchen and to clean up the kitchen. She said, get everything off the counter. Put what needs to go in the trash in the trash. Wash the dishes, the pans, and put them away. Okay. This is a tall task in the kitchen for my grandmother because my grandmother was always cooking every day, three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Cook, 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 cook. Well, Javon and I were still mumbling and rumbling and groaning to one another as we I washed the dishes and he dried the dishes. I put the dishes away, he took out the trash. 
And it took about a good hour for us to get it all done between the pitched fights that were happening in the kitchen. Y'all still um, fighting? Yes, unbeknownst to my grandmother who was gossiping on the phone about the church. Well, we did everything she told us to do. And she came in, she said, are y'all two done? She said, yes. We said, yes, ma'am. She said, okay, it looks good, looks good, looks good. She said, did you get everything off the counter? Yes. She said, what did you do with that jar that had the bacon grease in oh, it? Oh, no. We said, we <laughs> threw it away because you said get everything off the counter and throw it away if it needs to be thrown away. Needless to say, when we got up off the floor, <laughs> I know she killed you. We realized that grandmother not only was a good cook, but she was quite the martial artist mm -hmm. and a potential mm -hmm. cold blooded killer because in the South, throwing away good bacon grease. It's equivalent to kidnapping a child and holding them for ransom. Mm, mm, mm. So that day we learned that Animal Lord isn't the only killer in the house. It's Grandma when her Animal Lord has been thrown <laughs> away. And that was the end of that. Talky is already saying, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Ruth in the backyard, Ruth in Georgia backyard garden. Uh, let me just explain what you just walked into. Because, you know, Gail at night is saying, did she have the uh, rotary dial phone with the lock on it? So people had to ask to use it. <laughs> Not the lock, but she had the rotary dial phone. <laughs> so what you've just walked into is the five minute story time. Of course, this is how we start every day. And y'all, let me know if the music too loud because I put on one of my favorite grooves, but it's I keep is turning it down. Is? It is a DJ is groove. It keeps going up. I feel like so we're trying to figure out what is your cooking oil what of choice. Your, yeah, what is your oil of choice for when it comes to cooking? <laughs> Type that in the chat because that's an important part of the conversation. And Are also, you using coconut oil, y'all? We got some information about this coconut oil. Look how big of a jar we have. We got some information about avocado oil. Yeah, avoc look, this is a big bottle too. Avocado oil. And uh, I don't even have the olive oil. Yeah, I don't even have a bottle of olive oil. Gail says that good old leftover bacon, bacon grease is seasoning for peas, beans, and greens. <laughs> so potatoes, tomatoes, rent. <laughs> well, you juice, name it. Yeah, Juicing with Jay is saying that he uses olive oil. Okay, all right. Juicing with Jay got one vote for olive oil. Come on, come on, come on. But wait, good. let me let me just let me just ask this question, Corey, because people are putting in. Hashtag the home team. Remember, that's our first giveaway of the day. I think we only have one giveaway today. We might do two because Juicing with Jay has given us, uh, you know, a cash app. I mean, a super chat. So we do appreciate that. But David Hunt has put, excuse me, no okra has put in the home team. Hashtag the home team. Put that in, you all. Put in hashtag the home team and all of, also let us know what is your oil of choice when it comes down to cooking. Is it animal based oils? Is it vegetable oil? We have some is answers. It, is it is it butter? Is it that was still animal based? But or is it well is olive it and butter olive? is what AJ's road tripping is saying. AJ, yes. AJ, we didn't ask what you were rubbing on to the heifers after you drink the heifer bison. You know what? It's cold there. He says in Germany it's 15 degrees there Celsius. Woo! Well, Celsius, whatever that is in Fahrenheit. That but it's still yes, yeah, sounds cold to me too. Now, uh Kanique Mighty Nugent is using Mighty olive oil Nugent. and grapeseed oil. Okay. Grapeseed is one that I've used before as well. I think grapeseed is the one that Master Herbalist Yaki Awakened yeah. says to fry in when he was cooking for uh, a Jeremiah Owusu Owus Koromoa from the Cleveland Browns. Mm -hmm. I was going to say the football player. Yes, uh, they were frying mushrooms. I think it was in grapeseed oil. Now, Gail at Night says, my grandma used to think that talking on the phone for a long time runs the bill up, even for local calls. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know, it's so funny, like the stuff we didn't know, right? And G. Alba says, Corey, did Grandma have a party line? It felt like it, right? The way they were on the phone. Not the lock on the phone, David Hunt says, mm -hmm. but you all, speaking of the phones, text the home team to 757-231-3949 in order to get alerts and stay in the loop. Thank you, Gail at Night, for remembering to uh, alert everybody. So good. Gail at Night says her grandmother did have a lock, and Juicing with Jay is putting in hashtag the home team along with David Hunt and Kanique Mighty Nugent. All right, so guys, they're all laughing at you too. But you know what? Tati doesn't use usually use any oil at all. Okay, so, all right. so we'll, we'll get into all these things. Just keep putting them because this is a, this is a vital part of the conversation to know where you guys are coming from, so that we can give you the information from the doctors and it makes more sense. So let us know what oils are you. What's your oil of choice when it comes to uh, cooking? Is it animal based oil? Is it vegetable based oil? Or is it coconut oil? Is it olive oil? Is it avocado oil? Grapeseed oil? What kind of oils are you cooking in, especially when it comes to pan frying, sauteing, and deep frying? 
Well, uh, Tati is also saying- Oh, even baking, even baking, making baked goods. Yeah, because like baking goods, and you know what? Because I've used coconut oil, y'all, this big jar, I used to cook with this. Uh, every now and then, I ain't gonna lie, I still do, but n I try not to because of she all my research. She made falafels last night. Ooh. Yeah, and I started it with avocado oil. I ran out and I, that was one of the days I had to use um, the coconut oil. But I'm gonna give you PCRM, Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. I'm a certified food for life instructor with them. So y'all don't tell them that I use coconut oil. That's the one oil that PCRM <laughs> says. <laughs> Flag on the play. You okay, well, okay. Well, Tati says very little on salad, but olive oil. Now, I'm gonna give you a. Uh, this is gonna be a giveaway, a, a quick giveaway. Except if you're baking like cakes or uh, especially sweet cake, sweet breads and cakes, you can also replace the oils with applesauce. That's true. You know, Dr. Esselstyn. And it's uh, delicious. Because Ruth and Ruth Georgia, Ruth and Georgia Backyard Garden is saying olive oil as well. Uh, she's also saying I like avocado oil to make salad dressings. Yes, because it does have a neutral flavor. This particular brand, Chosen Foods, they do say that uh, it's one of the best because it is expeller pressed, naturally refined. Wait, I need it. Well, it says it goes up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit, mm -hmm. high heat, but I think it was supposed to be cold pressed. But either way, expeller pressed and not refined is what you want or naturally refined, I guess, might mean it's OK. Right. But, you know, uh, David Hunt is talking to G. Albert, talking about, oh, we got the babysitter last night. You know, it was his anniversary. Uh, David Hunt's anniversary. <laughs> we got to talk about that type of oil. We, we're not talking about body oil. <laughs> Who was the hunter last night, David Hunt? Was it you or the wife? No, let's get back to the uh, topic here. Juicing with Jay says coconut oil, but lately I've been using the air fryer, so no oil. Okay, ah, all right, all right. So that's a good, a good one. Answer. Now, y'all know this is just a 30 minute show, so we're about to do first place pony in just a few moments. What were you going to say, Corey? Because OG saying, Patrice is here. OG Pistol Pack and Patrice from the East. Hey, we were going to say this This information is not a substitute for professional mm. medical advice. If you need professional medical help and advice, seek advice from your own physician. Your own physician. So keep in mind, Ruth and the um, Back, Ruth in Georgia Backyard Garden, she's answering what her cooking oil is, but we're going to hear from the doctors and then her own first place pony because we do so, have a video clip. She uses butter for gonna, baking and, and cooking her um, eggs. So, so yeah, got, you know what? When I was eating eggs, butter and eggs, they, yeah, there they go together. <laughs> so guys, you guys are putting your oils of choice. We're going to see how they stack up against what we already know, like the, the vegetable oil is shortening. The animal oil is shortening because the vegetable oil is made out of, a lot of times not even vegetables like out of soy and a canola and other ex, other expressed oils that aren't good for us. We know it clogs your arteries, it causes inflammation, it stimulates insulin resistance for diabetics. We so you're talking about any oil in general? Because you know I was going to say Dr. Esselstyn is like no oil, whatever. He helped Samuel L. Jackson when Samuel L. Jackson had a 50-50 chance of surgery versus natural remedies. He went with Dr. Esselstyn. He got himself together. And um, because the oil, any oil, they say damages the endothelial or the inner lining of your vessels. So and we're going to actually show you what Dr. Uh, Barnard says about avocado oil, olive oil and um, avocado oil, <laughs> olive oil and, and coconut. coconut oil to see are these healthier options. Let's roll this beautiful footage, Barnard footage. All right. Now, thank you, Gail at Night. This is for informational purposes only. Uh, none of this is medical advice. So while you all put in hashtag, hashtag the home team, hashtag the home team uh, you are welcome to also click the like button. Gail at Night is reminding you of that. Uh, and of course, everybody's chatting it up with each other. We're going to definitely uh, mention our superhero comic series because we're at VegFest next weekend, uh, VegFest Fairfax. So we'll be talking about that. All right, Corey. Uh, right now, this is uh, Dr. Neil Barnard on the Physician Exam Room Live with Chuck Carroll, the weight loss champion. Both of them work for Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. And right now, though, what I'm saying is this is what the doctors say, y'all. We're, we're going to play their their clip. It's not us. Um, you'll hear it straight from the horse's mouth. Hopefully it plays OK. Uh, we'll see what happens. Started at 150. Oh, okay, sure. Are Let you me put it on double time or one point five. You know, I almost always put uh, when you say a minute and fifty seconds, right? Yes, a minute yep. And 50 okay, seconds. that's where it's queued up to. But uh, y'all know we also we do want to give this disclaimer: people don't talk this fast. This is us uh, playing the the thing. This 
fast, okay? <laughs> so let me just make sure everybody can see and hear it. Uh, let's see here, because Ruth in the Backyard Garden says, uh, what was she saying? What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, trash can waves is in there with hashtag the home team while y'all listen to what the doctors have to say here is uh put in hashtag the home team all right here's your chance to win a membership and you know we didn't share this link but here it is i'll put it in the chat the link to this no what cory why is the thing on mute um, this is a Facebook thing, I think. No, it is, mm -hmm. but um, it was me, though. Let's just try it again. It is this. Is olive oil healthy, or does the fat in it wash out all of its health benefits? Uh, what a great question. Um, so many people have that. Um, the, the short answer is that olive oil is way better than chicken fat. Um, so if you are currently eating animal fats or you're using them in cooking and you switch to olive oil, Good, good change. Okay. However, you can do way better still. And the reason I say that is that an olive does not, an olive tree does not have a faucet on it. In other words, the olive oil isn't really a natural product. The way you get olive oil is kind of the way you get sugar. To get sugar, you take sugar cane, throw away all the fiber and all the pulp and everything, and you take that that sugar that's left, and we call that a refined product. To get olive oil, what do you do? You take 10,000 olives and you throw away all the pulp and all the fiber, and you have this olive oil. Um, why is that maybe not so great? Well, it's better than chicken fat, but not perfect for this reason. Um, saturated fat. That's the component of the fat that raises cholesterol, and it's linked to Alzheimer's disease. For beef fat, it's about 50% saturated and the rest of beef fat is various other kinds of fat. Chicken fat, 30%. Olive oil, 14%. If you saute in water, it's 0%. I don't know if any of y'all heard that. Dr. Barnard said, because remember, this is not me. This is what the doctor is saying. He said, if you saute in water, zero fat. I have started sauteing in water. And y'all know what? Lash's Journey, she loves watching this show. I love watching her as well because she's been growing so much food. She just planted an olive tree. So, yeah. She so, ain't playing. Y'all know she's Jamaican right along with Denique Anthony. Did I tell you Denique Anthony was in the chat nope, today? Did not. Yes, Denique Anthony is here. So, the Jamaicans know good food. And look, she's doing her thing. Denique Anthony was one of the first people that put in hashtag the home team. So, y'all let us know. Are you sauteing in water? Is that something that you've ever tried before? Healthy G Mom is, is a healthy person. Have you ever sauteed in water? And Laquita Marie, you also, you also. Uh oh, I'd rather die sooner. AGS road trip and say it. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> well, you don't just saute in the water and just leave it there. You got to season the vegetables and whatever you're cooking in. But Laquita, you think found out also, also in your time of becoming a, a food for life expert and also just your cooking expertise as well that vegetables make their own. You can fry it because they make their own water when you start sauteing them, correct? You know, yeah. Remember, y'all, fruits and vegetables are mainly water because Healthy G Mom has not sauteed her vegetables in water. Uh, but you know, you get the pan hot and yeah, you actually just put a little bit of water in there and then you turn the heat down a little bit and you saute the same way like you don't you don't cook on um, high. on high, like you don't saute on high is what I'm trying to say. It's the same way when you're sauteing, it works. So definitely let us know your cooking oil. Are you cooking in animal fats and seed oils and... Um, Nut oils, when I say seed, uh, not seed, vegetable oils, that's what I meant. Because remember, we're just talking about avocado oil and chosen foods is our brand of choice. We finish with these. The doctors definitely say finish with these oils. Don't start with them. And with for high heat, they actually say coconut oil, only use it externally. So like, say, for example, David Hunt's anniversary was yesterday. He might have been using some coconut oil to get <laughs> things going. Uh, lotion, right? I definitely use it that way. And we Your use hair. it in our hair. Now, Do you know, ever have you ever sauteed in whiskey? That's all natural. Now, you know what I said that, Corey. They actually said that they can. <laughs> Trash can't wait. <laughs> they actually, they do recommend that a lot of the doctors, uh, like Dr. Gregor, recommend that you can also saute in vinegar and wine. You saw, so you can't whiskey. I don't know, but wine. <laughs> yes, they recommend that as well. Well, Healthy G Mom is using grapeseed oil and olive oil, and David Hunt is saying okra was not mentioned. But we we do have a little bit more to play after the first place pony. So let's run the first place pony, and then we'll play some more of the video. Are you ready? Uh, yeah. You know what? If you all have not put in hashtag the home team, this is your opportunity because first place pony means 
whoever was first in the chat was first in the chat. But whoever wins this race, you get first place bragging rights and you also win a membership to this channel. We do host our memberships on Buy Me A Coffee, which is, of course, a full fledged website. It's a payment processor. So if you have products to sell, if you have uh, updates and things that you want to give people and you're a new content creator, it works like Patreon. It's a private community, basically, is what it is. So let's see here. Let's see. Healthy G Mom is giving love, talking about she's laughing at trash cans. Much love and respect. Yeah, y'all know. Uh, speaking of whiskey, trash can waves, I just got a an email from PCRM because I'm a certified food for life instructor. I get their emails and you all can get their emails too. They have a free app. It's called the 21 day vegan kickstart. So that way, if you just want to try plant-based meals, you're looking for recipes. It's a free app you can download from PCRM.org. So anyways, they one article and they're always sending out informational articles. They said that uh, alcohol consumption is up there for all cause mortality basically is killing us so I'll, i gotta lay off the whiskey yes get the 21 day vegan kickstart healthy g mom it's free and lash's journey says she can't figure it out how to do it buy me a coffee call me i will walk you through it i'll set you up with it'll work because for for people like you lash's journey uh or a healthy g mom if you have seeds that you want to sell, you can put it right there on Buy Me A Coffee. That's a payment processor for you. If you are like Trash Can Waves, who says coconut oil makes a great lubricant, but if you're warming it up in the microwave, be careful with your partner. You don't want no third degree in other regions. Uh. <laughs> so if you're like him and you're like you're you're finding <laughs> partners and you're getting stuff done, look, make sure you use Buy Me A Coffee to buy and sell. I'm not saying that's where you sell and, and buying your woman uh, a trash can. I'm just saying use, buy me a coffee that way. All right, first place pony, just like sugar. It's just like crack. Oh, this is healthy G mom. <laughs> She's saying, uh, you know, just like sugar, like sugar is not good for you. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. just like all these oils, I guess. Well, there, are also, there are lots of options. Like yeah, call juicing, me lashes. Juicing with Jay, he actually gave a great option, which is you can air fry, so you don't have to use any oil at all. And that's that's what Ruth and, Ruth, Ruth and Georgia Backyard Garden, she's learning how to use different kinds of herbs to season and she'll try to lessen the oils. I didn't realize the damages. I'm sorry, Corey, because she stole my thunders here as well. Hey, go hey. ahead, Corey. Finish what you're saying. We do on First Place Pony, y'all. Thank so, you, Kanique. Hit the, hit the like button, y'all. So again, like I said, you know, <laughs> while we've been taught that olive oil, avocado oil, and coconut oils, the extra virgin, cold pressed, those versions of those oils, are better for us beneficial to cook with, they actually have been proven that they're really not. And they're, so we're gonna actually talk about yeah. what the ways you can consume these things in a moment. So- You know, uh, said, hold on a second. Healthy G Mom, if you do not have my number, um, please send me an email at admin at blind guy, his wife, because if you send me an email there, I can send you my phone number. That way we can talk. Um, I don't know if you already know somebody that has it. They can give it to you as well. But don't don't hesitate to email me, Healthy G Mom. That way we can talk because email is so cumbersome. Uh, yep. So she doesn't have it. So yes, uh, she stole my thunder. Is chatting it up with everybody. I hope she put in hashtag the home team. Let's hope it's working. All right, Corey. How do we do this first place pony? Dun, 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 dun. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another black run of the blind guy's wife at Life Live. Wait, you gotta Ooh. put the you have to put the email into the first place pony for Healthy G Mom. That way we know she got it. All right, <laughs> Healthy G Mom, email us at admin. No, at that ain't a first place wife, pony life, announcement. Blind, at blindguyhiswife.com. Admin at blindguyhiswife.com. <laughs> All the jockeys are mounted and ready to ride. And La Queen Marie, yes. what would the ladies say when the trash can always gets the coconut oil above 360 degrees? Bling! Hold up. He would say, just put up the bat signal and Corey will come running. That's because that's what his comment <laughs> is. <laughs> and they're off. All right, let's see. We got Juicy with Jay, G. Albert, uh, Danique Anthony, trash can waves, no okra, AGS road tripping. Uh, Wait, did I see uh, Coach? Anyway, Juicing with Jay, AGS Road Tripper. Juicing with Jay! Hey, juicing yes! With Jay. The wickedness juicing is working. <laughs> juicing with Jay has come running in on his uh, his favorite horse called I thought I saw, Smoothie. Yes. won the race. I was like, wait, business talk with Coach K. We had Coach K in the running court. Nigerians, oh, mm -hmm. they are coming through. Congratulations to you. 
uh, from Juicing with Jay, from Lash's Journey, from She Stole My Thunder, from uh, biz Business Talk with Coach K. He's like, man, man. <laughs> <laughs> They're always happy when the men went, my butt, my butt, my butt is on fire. We don't need no water. Trash can. All you right. already know. <laughs> so, guys, we're going to take a quick coffee break and come back and sell you some things you can do. We already talked about what you can do with the coconut oil and the avocado oil, external uses only. But we, we're going to talk about what we could do with olive oil. And Laquita Marie's going to show you one of her salad dressing recipes as part of the plant based treat. All after this coffee break. After this coffee break. Y'all know, thank you for uh, dropping his link. Gail at Night, Juicing with Jay has just won first place pony. And so, uh, Ju Juicing with Jay, I do have to give his acceptance speech for it. Thanks, everyone. Finally a win. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's get on. Let's get on with it. He's saying, like, the fix wasn't in. I knew what you meant with that because he said the blank wasn't in, but he forgot to put fix. Ah. Trash can waves is just looking in, but it wasn't rigged at all, y'all. That's just the way it is. He's super chatted and I don't know how that works. Let's get on to thank our sponsors because of course, scrolling at the bottom of the screen, blindguyhiswife.com. You definitely can go there and buy us a coffee or just simply start your coffee page. Don't even buy us a coffee, start your coffee page. That way the platform buys you a coffee, it buys us a coffee. However, for those of them that have chosen to sponsor us, we do want to say thank you to them. How do we say that, Corey? This broadcast is powered by StreamYard and by promotional considerations paid for by the following unmuted sponsors. Yes, unmuted sponsors. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oops, Corey, uh, <laughs> I didn't hit the sponsor. <laughs> unmuted. Supreme Sponsors, David and Christine Brooks. Supreme Sponsor, Dr. Linda Bailey Hayden of Elizabeth City State University. Supreme Sponsor, Hollywood Cut. Supreme Sponsor, 2023 Fairfax Veg Fest. Supreme Sponsor, Mount Zion, Amy Church. New member, the J. Jordan. You or your company can become a sponsor. Visit blindguyhiswife.com. All right, y'all. Hey, y everybody. We are back. We're talking to you again about the cold-blooded killers, which were typically associated with cooking oil with animal fats and certain vegetable oils. But we're also discovering today, thanks to Dr. Neil Barnard, that the olive oil, the coconut oil, and the avocado oil aren't necessarily the best healthy options. They're good for transitioning into uh, an oil-free diet. But it's not something that you want to just make as part of your daily meal regimen. Right. So we talked about how you can use applesauce as a as a oil of fat to when you're baking. We talked about how you can use grapeseed oil. That's recommended by Yaki Awaken as a way to cook and to pan fry. Or just using water, vinegar, wine, and to actually all the natural juices in the fruits and vegetables when you're pan frying or sauteing. Or your because the fryer. vegetables are made fruits and vegetables. And when we say fruits, y'all remember okra is a fruit. So that's why we say fruits and vegetables. Tomatoes are fruits, and we cook those fruits. Um, uh, so whatever you're cooking, though, they do release their natural waters because they are mainly made of water. Let's say if you're Gina versus Gina and you're growing, what? They mainly made of water. No, that's not what you The first thing you said, and hopefully the trash can waves missed it. Let's go. OK, OK, OK. Mm -hmm. Gina versus Gina. She grows. She knows she has a food forest in her backyard and TWP popcorn oh, grows. Gina. No, oh, Gina. Coconut oil, oh, Gina. Yeah. No, oh, Gina. <laughs> so, y'all, let's get back to, to see what the doctors are saying. We're going to play a little bit more of what Dr. Neil Barnard of PCRM is saying. Uh, I'll drop the link into the chat so that way you can finish watching that on your own time as well. So, uh, Corey, we've, you've already summarized what he said so far. Let's get back to it. So olive oil is better than chicken fat, not perfect. Um, if you're trying to lose weight, olive oil is just as fattening as lard. All fats have nine calories per gram. If you're dealing with any kind of hormonal issue, like we've talked a lot lately about hot flashes, or if insulin is not, not working well because you know, you've got diabetes, um, get the fats out of your diet. Go vegan for sure. And in, in addition, keep olive oil and other fats to a minimum. You're going to do better. Oh, man, we got a lot of people talking. 
All righty. So again, he was saying you're transitioning your lifestyle or to a healthier lifestyle, then definitely you could transition by cooking with olive oil and, and avocado oil. But you hear that, Miss Marugi? Now I met her over at you, uh, Goga. 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 Yeah. So, but again, avoid, <laughs> and we got Alaskan people listening in too. Uh, junior. <laughs> avoid cooking. He said, if you can avoid and minimize fats altogether, especially if you're a diabetic or you know somebody that you're cooking for is a diabetic, you want to eliminate those oils altogether so that you can uh, have a, so you won't become more insulin resistant and have a more uh, effects on diabetes. So with that being said, we uh, we want to talk about that you can use it to drizzle. Like the queen said, you want to use the olive oil and avocado oil to put on, to finish with, not to start with when it comes to cooking. And remember, this is for informational purposes only. None of this is medical advice. Even when in its, in it's uh, cold form, when it's not being cooked, uh, olive oil does and uh, avocado oil do retain their anti-inflammatory and properties and other health properties. So yeah. Huga Homestead, it's it's healthy, not healthy. Like if you depending on which doctors you're mm -hmm. listening to, they all say use it in sparingly, sparingly. You know, very sparingly. And maybe if you to dip your bread in, if you're uh, maybe to, you know drizzle over a salad. And speaking of salads, you have a five minute vinaigrette that you're going to show them, right? Oh yeah, because Lash's Journey eats lots of salads. She's always growing and she's showing us what she's eating out of her garden. So y'all, we are done. We are at the 30 minute mark. That means we've got to finish up with a plant-based treat. How many fruits and vegetables have you eaten today? Now, we're not vegetarians, but no, wait, Corey. Uh, remember, we told them that, you know, a lot of them here are superheroes in their own right. So of course, if y'all want to follow the superhero comic series, this is the Faves 100 superhero comic series of uh, there's the link that Gail at night is sending you to. It's our Substack, uh, the fiber movement. Now, of course, the name is intentional. We are adding to that. So we are going to be helping you all to calculate. We're going to be using you all, uh, all of our, like, let's just say David Hunt, right? He's going to have a character. We're going to have to have a dilemma because, you know, he doesn't like okra right along with healthy G mom. It is a fruit. She says yuck, but you know, we got to make sure that everybody gets into this comic book. So David has had an apple and a banana. How many points is that, Corey? That is two points. No, it's not. No, it's 10 points. It's Okay, five <laughs> points for each serving. So five for the apple, five for the banana. And the goal is to try to get to 100. That way you can be a faves 100. I'm taking eight hero. points off for David because of all the coconut oil he probably ingested on his anniversary. David said, <laughs> why isn't this talked about by more doctors? You know, it's growing, David. It's growing. More and more doctors are getting into this. That's why, like I said, we'll be at VegFest this weekend. And so... You know, uh, we actually will be on stage and all that good stuff. We'll talk about that more tomorrow. Right now, I'm going to show you all a vinaigrette. So that way, if you're not Lash's Journey, because I think she cut out oil uh, for the most part, or she might, you tell us, because she's fixing the salad for breakfast right now. So this particular plant-based treat, yes, we're not fruit hoodlums. We're not vigilantes. We're just plate advisors. Advising you to eat more fruits and vegetables every, every spread. spread. All right. Oh, how did you mom have burdock root this morning? Okay. All right. Wow. That's five points. If it's so nutritious, it might be um, 10. Time, Why is time, David Hunt saying double yuck? Let's go to the health, every, to the plant based. Every tree. time I hear burdock root, I think about the, uh, the A team. There's that guy named Murdoch. Uh huh. <laughs> you know what? It's so funny you say that because that is a familiar thing. All right, y'all. Quick vinaigrette, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Uh, oil, vinegar, salt, and sugar. How to enjoy real food. Let's chop it and chop it. We're going to start with the vinaigrette. That means we're going to cook the roasted vegetables, and we use this for salad dressing also. All you need is vinegar. It doesn't have to be apple cider. It can just be any vinegar. You need vinegar and oil. You need salt and sugar. So this is my sugar. This is my salt and you need the mustard as an emulsifier. That breaks everything up so that everything blends. I'm gonna put them all together, either in a jar so I can just shake it up, or a plastic container. I'm going to now put twice as much oil. So however much vinegar, you put twice as much oil. You can just eyeball it. Seasoned salt, maybe a teaspoon. And I'm actually going to um, add now the sugar. 
So you just need like a teaspoon of sugar, just gives it a little bit of sweetness. You just wanna give a good squeeze of mustard, you shake it. Shake it up, baby, now shake it up, baby. Bonus spices. One teaspoon of chili powder and one teaspoon of curry powder. One pinch rosemary and one pinch thyme. You know what to do? Sh -sh 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 shake it up. You gotta change it up. You know it's amazing what these things do when they blend together. This is a science experiment. It's one that you can be successful in and one that you can enjoy. So I hope you make this soon. Use it on your salad or toast your veggies. All right, y'all, that's it. Get your faves in fruits and vegetables every day. Y'all know Last Year Journey does not use oil on her salad, but this has been a great 30 minutes with you. Healthy G-Mom has just found out about burdock root and Corey. This sounds like a, a storyline for a comic strip. David Hunt says okra deserves double yuck. We're going to make David the villain, the cosmic slop. That's what we're going to make David. Okay, got <laughs> it, got he's it, gonna, got he's it. Gonna be a henchman for the cosmic slop. <laughs> Absolutely. So how do we say goodbye? This has been wonderful. Y'all know what to do. Text 757, excuse me, text the home team to 757 231 Three nine four nine to stay in the loop and get all the updates. And of course, our link tree is there. Uh, you can just go there, and that way, you can also plug in to the text list that way. Oh, right. oh good. Healthy G Mom is working on her healthy lifestyle. Of course, you got the right name for it. Do it, do it, do it. <laughs> all right. Well, that does it for this episode of Blind Guys Wipe Your Life Live. We're gonna say goodbye by saying goodbye the same way that. Uh, David Hunt would say goodbye to okra that's cooked in <laughs> olive oil, uh, coconut oil, avocado oil, animal lard, and uh, vegetable oil. He would just say, yuck, deuces. <laughs>